All right, this is a recruiting interview for Open Source, open source Ecology. Uh, my name is Simon Walter Hansen. Uh, first question, why are you uniquely qualified for Open Source Ecology? Well, uh, I would say for the last two years of my life, I've been interested in putting my energy towards projects that I think are uh, working towards uh, social good, uh, my the last 15 years of my life I've been sort of building skills starting out with a degree in mechanical engineering uh, worked 10 years in software development uh, from there went on to study permaculture and community development so I think uh, what I've been self the last 15 years are in uh, direct alignment what, with what open source ecology is posing for uh, paradigm shifting uh, reality for the world. Uh, next question, what is your level of interest? Well, uh, like I said, I've been interested in building my skill set for the last 15 years. Uh, I'm interested uh, currently in the energy components for the Global Village construction set. Uh, I think it's very important that we quickly shift away from a centralized energy production and distribution model, getting off of fossil fuels and uh, the need for very large and expensive uh, electri uh, electricity generating plants and the distribution infrastructure needed for that. So I'm interested in the steam engine, I'm interested in the uh, biomass gasifier steam generator, and uh, also very interested in the, uh, the outcomes of having a distributed economy and what that means when the information to meet one's own needs is made freely available to everybody in the world. Uh, question of, uh, am I willing to come to Factor E Farm? Uh, yes, I'm uh, willing and interested to come to Factor E Farm. That seems to be the central hub of where much of the development and prototyping work is happening. And uh, as far as uh, team velocity goes, having everybody together in a central location uh, makes the communication and the uh, the morale, uh, keeps morale high and is also uh, fairly important to have a, an efficient and productive development team. It certainly can be done distributedly, but there are uh, certainly hurdles to be overcome in maintaining that communication channel. So having uh, things happening at Factory Farm is a great start. And uh, with the idea of being a scrum master, it certainly is uh, very important to be uh, sort of on the scene, as they say, when uh, developing products. Uh, the next question of uh, what do you think open source ecology's priority should be at this point in our development. Well, uh, for me, I've, I've been involved for the last three months and uh, I've kind of seen some of the, the drawbacks of having a, a very centralized uh, product development uh, hierarchy in which um, a few people are kind of controlling the information and become the bottlenecks in uh, product development. So one thing that I think is very important in transitioning to uh, this new model of utilizing uh, Agile and Scrum development methodologies is uh, having uh, a test run of one product going from start to finish in the development cycle because there, there are bound to be hiccups along the way and some could be quite significant. And knowing that you've taken the time to eliminate um, the bottlenecks in the first run and 
putting to use uh, the development method for extreme manufacturing that's been put on the paper uh, is, is, in my mind, a critical first step. Uh, it's, you know, you can, when you look at having 10 concurrent teams or 25 concurrent teams, uh, you're multiplying uh, the difficulties that come with um, utilizing a new method that uh, hasn't been practiced before uh, tenfold or 25-fold. So I think it, it's um, quite critical that uh, one product get run start to finish, even if it has, um, you know, just a lead time of a month, so that those beginning tasks of getting subject matter experts and getting the uh, development done uh, can actually pave the way for um, a series of five or ten teams coming along a month behind, so that there there is this clear path that somebody has walked before in doing these, the product development under the new methodology. So the next question is, how savvy are you in uh, recruiting crowd volunteers for resourcefulness? Well, as this applies to Scrum Masters, um, certainly a Scrum Master, uh, their job is to remove impediments and to be forward-looking in the backlog of tasks to see what dependencies will be coming up. Uh, I've been involved in uh, sort of hardware development uh, many years ago and software development and these are key components in development and prototyping of the tools that are being proposed so what I have to offer there is just a network of people that I've connected with over the years that uh, could be uh, accessed for doing some of this development. Uh, beyond that, um, the volunteering and financial aspects of doing product development, uh, I've been involved for uh, roughly the last three years in nonprofit organizations uh, helping to organize events and uh, volunteer activities. So I have some background in that and the idea of keeping things structured for volunteers, making it um, very clear and easy for involvement and giving uh, definitely clear guidelines and outcomes for what should be expected of volunteers and keeping them excited and uh, motivated to continue to volunteer. Uh, so the last question here is how experienced are you in project management? Uh, well, uh, like I said, I've been doing software for 10 years, and in there uh, in lies a lot of uh, working in team pairs or uh, larger teams in which uh, one, one isn't always necessarily uh, able to visible the entire scope of the project, but uh, tasks are broken down into meaningful chunks in which uh, there's an understanding of what it is to be done with a task and how tasks can be tested and this tested for uh, pass or failure and this is one of the important parts of this new agile scrum management is that even before you start working on a task you understand what it means to have that task complete so there's no questions about you know, what am I supposed to do next and uh, how do I know if this is done? That's become a very important part in uh, the last few months of my involvement with Open Source Psychology. Uh, I've been working on the DVD production, getting the four beta tools released to the world. It's, that seems to be the, um, the main output of this entire project is information on how to build maintain and safely use these tools. And what I found is that the four tools that have been worked on uh, were lacking those definitions of done. So it became uh, somewhat of a frustration for me in, uh, in my committing to do the DVD and uh, just producing the DVD and finding that uh, I actually had to uh, go back to doing some CAD work, going back and doing some video production and 
uh, graphical work uh, just to take care of the tasks that had been uh, left behind by volunteers that um, either didn't have the information they needed to finish or got frustrated because they weren't getting answers to questions. So f for me, just having that experience and having studied uh, uh, specifically the Scrum development method that's being proposed for hardware development with this extreme manufacturing, uh, I've been investigating this for about two months and uh, doing some practice uh, project uh, management with the, the Scrum techniques uh, for about the last two months in preparation for uh, working as a Scrum Master with Open Source Ecology. So that's my experience in a nutshell and uh, hopefully we, we can work together and make some awesome. Okay.